under New York state and state law and federal law, um, both the state and federal government provide um, a public subsidy to help families who are working. So we're talking about working families here um, provide um, child care, and they it's a child care uh, subsidy. Um, and the state does not have a specific requirement about how much each family needs to be entitled. That amount is set by the county, and in Erie County, that has historically been set at 200 percent of the federal poverty level, which I totally support because, you know, at the end of the day, what we want our public subsidies to do is to help people achieve self-sufficiency, and that is what's so good about this particular public subsidy because it does help people who are working families and who are really trying to work their way out of poverty and, you know, and sort of play by the rules, do everything right, you know, go to their job, etc. cetera. Um, and so what the county executive had proposed is that um, as a result of some funding cuts in the state, which mind you have been done in the past, he is going to decrease the amount um, from 200% of the federal poverty level to 125% of the po federal poverty level, which essentially has impacted 1,500 children in the program. And, you know, my district office has received dozens and dozens of phone calls on this issue just since last week alone, literally every day, um, you know, with folks literally in crisis, in tears, um, expressing deep concern about what they're going to do. Um, and all of them, without fail, reporting that they will not be able to continue working. Um, so there's concerns with this on so many different levels. Um, concern number one is, you know, how does this actually help us achieve a long-term cost savings if, in fact, people do have to quit working and then become eligible for other kinds of public subsidies? You know, which I suspect very much will be the case, and um, and that's what uh, the Buffalo News article today was talking a little bit about. Um, and then the second problem is, you know, again, when you are in a tough budget situation, um, as Erie County will be in the months ahead, uh, particularly with federal stimulus dollars running out, you know, I understand that tough decisions have to be made. What's bothering me so much is that the county executive has limited the scope of things that should be considered, and he has limited them only to those items that affect people in the city of Buffalo, many of whom are people in need. We saw that with the WIC program, we saw that with the county clinics, we saw that with the lead hazard abatement program, all of which have been eliminated, and now this. And mind you, there is no talk whatsoever from the administration on cutting the sheriff's road patrols, which affect the wealthier suburbs, or cutting the suburban roads, um, you know, 1,200 miles of county roads, not a single one inside the city of Buffalo, all of which is paid for by um, uh, county taxpayers, including city residents. No talk of ending county golf courses. You know, all of the sort of items that I think are big ticket items worth millions and millions and millions of dollars, and meanwhile, they don't make their way to the chopping block. So to me, that's something that is a serious, serious concern.